What is the stereo to mono, called SDM input conversion switch? The SDM switch converts, a left-right stereo input, to two, absolute center placed mono signals. It can be used for any monaural instruments like kick, snares, lead vocals or bass, that should appear in the middle of a mix, and it would be a waste to use stereo left and right, two precious analog channels for a mono result. Please do not confuse with the master output stereo to mono switch, which converts the summing master stereo outs to mono, checking final mix mono compatibility. Stereo instruments routing from door. Let the example be a stereo synth sample track. Route stereo synth from computer to the corresponding door interface outputs. Then send to the summing mixer for analog summing. Pay attention to proper gain staging from door to hit properly harmonic distortion on summing inputs. Please note. Panning stereo from door computer is completely fully available. Finally, send the master stereo back to the door interface, gain makeup, set the proper volumes on your mic preamps, and find the sweet spot, for main record. Mono instruments routing from computer door. Let the example be a kick, and a bass track. Assign the kick track, then send to the left interface out number 1, and next to the corresponding summing input, which will be, left input number 1. Assign the bass track, then send to the right interface out number 2, and next to the corresponding summing input, which will be, right input number 2. Stereo to mono switch positions. Down position, equals stereo mode, for a stereo instrument. Panning available from computer door. Up position, equals mono mode, for two mono instruments. As shown in the previous example, kick and bass was placed in the absolute center of the mix. Panning is not available from computer door. Let's see a basic routing on Cubase. As a reminder, stereo mode requires four stereo channels, which is equal to eight analog channels. Mono mode requires only six analog channels, saving one stereo, as two channels for any other stereo track. Let's see a simple two mono track with two stereo tracks routing example. Select kick track. Then, send it to the stereo number 1, left out. Left analog out 1, connected to the left analog summing input 1. Select bass track. Then, send it to the stereo number 1, right out. Switch to up position, for mono conversion. Synth track to the stereo number 2. Benefits of the SDM switch. However, a fixed, standalone mono input, without switch, can increase the unwanted stereo crosstalk in the mix. The SDM switch gives a wide, no compromise flexibility, easy to switch between stereo or mono operation modes. The stereo to mono input conversion switch is the one of the most liked features by customers because the mono is a true analog mono, and it saves precious analog channels. There are wide range of options, you can customize your summing stereo to mono setup. You can choose on which channel you need, the switching order, 
and the number of the conversion switches. Let's see a short preview about different solution examples. For input summing mixer with stereo to mono switch. Eight input summing with one stereo to two mono. Two stereo to four mono conversion switches. 16 input summing with two stereo to four mono and headroom switch. 16 input summing with eight stereo to 16 mono. 40 input summing with eight stereo to 16 mono on different stereo inputs. 48 input summing with channel insert and 8 stereo to 16 mono. 32 input summing with 16 stereo to 32 mono conversion switches. You can get as many channels and options you want. Customize your summing mixer and monitor controller with Vintage Maker. Thanks for watching. Please visit vintagemaker.net.